hello my name is mani so today we are gonna be talking about practice in this video so my trees are so they're not great like they just look like big green blobs as you can see here and i really want to fix that so i'm working on in this sketchbook really focusing on fine tuning my trees so I'm just getting in that initial tree bark. So that's the tree over there, I'm all the way in the back. So I got that down and I got the blocks of color and value. And now I'm going in and just doing little details, really focusing on which way the leaves go, not necessarily focus on, on super details about the leaves. Next up, I'll be putting in the darkest value of the leaves and I read in a landscape book that you won't be able to see the stars unless the sky is dark. Some some quote like that. I'll put it up on the screen. But that is so true with painting that you need that dark value in order to bring that painting to life. So here in a previous painting of mine, you can see the tree looks very flat defining that value really brings that definition to form in a tree it kind of relates to the light times and the dark times and the middle times of life i'm reading the book of job right now and he's going through suffering in dark times and he's confused because he's done nothing wrong job had to learn that god is sovereign over everything and he has control over everything he made everything job learned through talking with god that he wasn't trusting in god's sovereignty over his situation job repented and was rewarded for his faithfulness to god i'm really happy how this turned out i think i got a good grasp on translating value into color so the end result came out looking pretty good So now I don't have time to go outside, so I chose a reference from Pinterest and I'm just, this one's a fuller tree and there's a lot more globs, I don't know how to describe it. So I did the same process, I started with the trunk and then I laid in big values and colors and now I'm going in with a little bit more detail. So here's an example of where I failed at that. So this tree is just distracting. It just looks like a big blob and there's no definition of it. Don't let this time lapse fool you. This took me a good two hours, but it's finally finished and I'm happy with it. I just feel like I didn't create enough form still, but that's okay. Something to work on next time. So another Pinterest tree. So I had to sketch it out this time because I wasn't sure of how to fit it on the space that I have left. So that's what I did. I'm just filling it in and tip to do the silhouette and not focus just on the branch because I had to start all over again and redo it. Something that's important is to notice in life and in reference photos are little shifts in color. So at the base of the tree trunk, I noticed that it's, of course it's darker, but it had a greener shade. And towards the middle top-ish, it had a red shade. And then when you get to the very top, it went back to like a green brown shade. So just pay attention to the slight color differences. So this painting is a disaster. I really like the house, but there's no atmospheric perspective, no values. The composition is also off. It looked nice in person sitting there, but it doesn't translate well to a painting. So I'm just adding some more definition to these leaves, which is kind of hard because it's a very wispy and airy type of subject and it's hard to find that balance between the values mm -hmm. 
this is that reddish brown that i was talking about before and it's kind of in this middle-ish top of the tree here i'm going a little more into the darkest dark and defining that a little bit more at the bottom which is so important to bring this painting to life and also so is the shadow the shadow really shows that it's not just on a white piece of paper if you've made it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a comment like or subscribe i post weekly videos about painting and my walk with god enjoy this final product of all three trees together and remember to trust in god even through those dark times